Hey everyone, and welcome back to my next video. Today I'm gonna to show you how to build an automated sequenced assembly, which will then allow you to automate precision mechanisms, which are practically used to craft everything nowadays. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, please go ahead and check out my Create Mod 0.3.2 What's New video, where I just cover the new update and all of the changes. That'll probably help you with this video so things are not too confusing. But uh, this item is basically used to now craft extendo grips, potato cannons, speed controllers, and even a couple other like main items that you need inside of this game. So to automate this process is going to save you a ton of time. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, definitely drop a like. Feel free to subscribe. I make a ton of new Create Mod content. I am actually redoing my tutorial series based off of this update because of how many changes have happened since I started this series all the way back in January. So if you're new to Create Mod, go ahead and subscribe. You'll probably learn some things. Uh, but without holding back any further, let's jump into the video. So before we jump into the building and what items do you need and things along those lines, I want to go over what is sequenced assembly and then also what is a precision mechanism and things like that that I know a lot of people that haven't even seen the new update probably have no idea what I'm even talking about. So uh, let's open it up in just enough items so it shows how to craft it. And this is not normal crafting at all. It doesn't even use mechanical crafting. It's a very new type of crafting for this version. And this is sequenced assembly. So. If we look at this process right here, we're going to see that it's a golden sheet being placed onto a depot and then a deployer is deploying a cogwheel. Then we repeat the process, but with a large cogwheel. And then we repeat the process again with an iron nugget. And then we're going to repeat this entire sequence five times. And that will give us an 80% chance to get a precision mechanism and a 20% chance to get random salvage, which I'll go over what that is in a moment. Uh, but that is how this is created, and it's more of just an assembly line. So I can see that this might be more where Create is going to move into the future to be more of building assembly lines and less of just place a block and it works, which is exactly how Create Mod basically described themselves right in the beginning. So I hope that that clears things up a little bit. If you're still confused, that's okay. I'm going to show you how to automate this process by actually doing this process almost. Now, uh, precision mechanisms I went over, they're used in speed controllers. They're also used in mechanical arms. You can also use them in uh, the crafting of potato cannons, and they're also used in the crafting of extendo grips. So uh, you're going to use these quite a few times inside of a survival world or even a multiplayer server. So that's why we're going over them today. And this is everything that you are going to need for this video. And all of these items are going to be linked in the description uh, or well, written out in the description. So if you don't want to read them on the screen, you could just go down there, copy and paste. There you go. And I want to go over a couple different things. One is that we have a precision mechanism already crafted, and that is because we will need it as a filter to actually filter them out of the system once they are crafted. We will also need a filter, which the regular filter will need to contain crushed gold ore, andesite alloy, gold nugget, cogwheel, shaft, clock, and an iron ingot. Really random items, but that is that 20% chance where it makes a random item. These are the random items that it can make, and this is what we're going to use to pull out of the system. It can also make a golden sheet. That's okay. It would just go back in the system and redo the process again. So that's totally fine. Uh, as well as, of course, it can make our uh, precision mechanism, which that's where we're going to pull out separately from the system as well. So uh, you will need a filter to set this. Again, just a quick little tip. If you right click on your filter, you can use just enough items to drag things uh, into a filter just like so. So you don't actually need the, those items all crafted right in the beginning. On top of these items, I want to go over that I have a stack of large cogwheel or a stack of cogwheels, a stack of large cogwheels, a stack of iron nuggets, and a stack of golden sheets. This is for me to test the system. You are going to need cogwheels, large cogwheels, and iron nuggets, and of course you'll need golden sheets to actually craft these things. So this is as many as you would like to make. You can just start out with like four if you really want to, or I guess five of each, uh, and that would work as well. But uh, I'm just starting out with a stack to make my life a little easier. The three water buckets are going to be for the water wheels to power the entire system scaffoldings for me to climb up to different things. You don't necessarily need that. And the pickaxe and the wrench are just extra helper tools. So uh, you don't have to panic too much. Also, I have a speed controller in here. That's because I'm going to speed up the system. But if you want to skip that step, you could just use like an extra shaft or cog wheel to get around that if you don't care about speeding up your system. But this will help the process in the long run. So to start out, let's go ahead and I'll show you what I have pre-built here. Now, there's, there's not much, so don't panic. Essentially right here, we have a 13 block long hole. This is where our conveyor belt is going to be placed. And then we have these two holes, which I'll show you where those go uh, a little bit later. We also have this little container here. This is just going to be holding our water wheels. So if I climb up, you can see that this is where we're going to be placing them uh, basically inside of our system. So again, don't panic. We'll get to those in a moment as well. But to get started, let's go ahead and grab our mechanical belts and a couple shafts. We're going to place one 
And then we're going to go down one, two, three, four, place down another shaft, then five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, and place another shaft just like so. And then we're going to connect to this entire, or entire mechanical belt, if I can talk. And there we go, we have our mechanical belt. So this is basically where our items are going to go down, and then they're going to be shot up in the air and placed back onto this mechanical belt. And yes, is it shot up in the air? We're going to use our weighted ejector. So we're going to go to the left side, the side where we're going to build our water wheels. We're going to shift right click, so it selects the target. Go to the end of this uh, contraption and place down our weighted ejector, just like so. So once we've done that, we're going to do a little bit of a trick to kind of plan ahead for powering our system. So if we go to the end of this mechanical belt, we're going to have one, two, three blocks. We're just going to take some small cogwheels and place three just like this. So once we power the belt, it'll also power our weighted ejector. And then this one area right here where we place the shaft, we're just going to go up by two cogwheels just like so. I stand corrected. Uh, we're actually going to place down one more cogwheel on top. And then we're going to place three off to the side right here. And this is going to look a little weird, but that's because we're then going to take our deployers and place down three deployers, uh, if I can place them correctly. There we go. Just like so, so that the shafts are facing forward and they are also connected to our cogwheel. Now, this is where we're going to actually have our deployers deploying onto an item. And they don't have to be a depot. They can actually be a belt as well. So that's going to work perfect for us. So... All we need to do now is plan out how we're going to load our items into these deployers. So we're going to grab some chutes. And we're going to place down three chutes right on top. And I recommend grabbing a wrench and making them transparent. It'll make it a little bit easier if we have to debug anything. And then let's just grab some scaffolding. Uh, if I can place our scaffolding correctly. There we go. So that we're up towards the top. We're going to grab some chests. And we're just going to place down a double chest on each. And you can use other inventory storing systems if you would like. But I'm just going to use chests for the simplicity. Now, on these chests, we're going to grab our uh, cogwheels, our iron nuggets, and our large cogwheels. We're going to throw our small cogwheels in the first chest, our large cogwheels in the second chest, and then our iron nuggets in the last chest. And if we've done this correctly, you're going to see the iron nugget has been placed into this deployer, the uh, large cogwheel has been placed into this deployer, the small cogwheel has been placed into this deployer. So there we go. We got our deploying section all up and running. So once we've done that, let's plan a little bit ahead before we start powering our system. So theoretically, we will have a golden sheet get dropped onto this mechanical belt. It's going to go through the system, get pressed once, twice, three times. And then we have to do a little bit of detection here because let's say it goes through five times. It now has the chance to turn into that uh, precision uh, mechanism or it has the chance to turn into random junk or it hasn't finished its process yet and we need to throw it into this weighted ejector. So to do that process, we're going to place one brass funnel onto this weighted ejector. You could use an andesite funnel here, but brass funnels have no delay, so that's going to speed up our system a little bit, so that's why we're using that one. And then we're going to go uh, basically diagonal off one block away from this deployer, and we're just going to place down two chests, just like so. Do one block, two more chests, and then we're going to place two brass funnels against these guys. And now I've actually placed these incorrectly. You're going to notice that we have an arrow that's actually pulling the items from the chest and placing them on the belt. We want to right click with our wrench and making it so it's pulling items off of the belt and placing them into the chest. So what we're going to do here is the very first filter we're just going to set as our precision mechanism. So once it's completely complete, it will be pulled off the belt, placed into the chest, and we're good to go. And then the second one is going to be for our junk. So we're just going to grab our filter again with these items just shown just like this. Uh, make sure you didn't actually spin it like I just did right there and go ahead and place our filter right onto uh, this funnel. So you might not be able to believe it, but we're basically already done. So what we're going to do is simply just place a uh, rotation speed controller off of this cog wheel. If you're not going to use this, just simply place a shaft. You could just set up the system a little bit differently. Place the large cog wheel on top of this uh, rotation speed controller. And then we're just going to place down some shafts, uh, which I'm just going to roll with four, just like so. So I realized I actually built my system slightly wrong in the sense that uh, I either need one more shaft that I've just spawned in, or you can just move your water wheels one block closer and that would work as well. So I'll leave that up to you. I'll put a little like disclaimer in the items needed section. But uh, all we're going to do is then place down our water wheels and we're going to try to place them correctly. Just like so. Not for water buckets. And we're going to place all three of them like so. And then we're going to place down our water and it should start moving perfectly. Now, once we've done that, you're going to notice immediately we're actually spinning it the wrong way. <laughs> and that's not what we want. So we're going to change this. Uh, to a negative number, and I believe that we can crank it all the way up to 
Yes, we can crank it all the way up to negative 48. And you're going to see if I run around that our machine is actually moving pretty quickly. We're going to see our belt is moving really fast. We have all of our deployers up and running. And we have our weighted ejector that set himself up as well. So let's go ahead and grab some iron or golden sheets. We can just throw down a couple of them. I'll just throw down five for now. You're going to see they're getting pressed currently. And then once they do that, they're going to go ahead and try to get detected from these guys. They're not going to be pulled in because they don't match any of these filters. And then they're going to be shot from the weighted ejector and thrown back into the process to be filtered again. So there you go. I will uh, let me go ahead and speed this up until we get one of them fully crafted. There we go. Look at that. We got one perfectly crafted and it's filtered itself right into this large chest. And uh, we'll see if any of them get corrupted. We do have a high percentage of chance that they're all going to go through perfectly. Uh, so let's give it a second. There we go. We can see one just failed and turned into andesite, just like so. Uh, and we can also see that these guys just ran out. By the way, that breaking sound, kind of like the press kind of sound, uh, that means that it's run out of items. So that's why it's not going to process anymore. Uh, but you can see we processed eight of them before we ran into two that didn't actually work correctly. And they turned into andesite alloy. Uh, but it's been pulled out of the system, so the system will still work. Of course, it's stopped because we ran out of the items in these chests, but overall, we have eight precision mechanisms all up and running uh, perfectly now. I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, feel free to drop a like, feel free to subscribe. Uh, once again, I make a ton of create mod content, but if you ever need any help with any of my contraptions or anything, feel free to check out my Discord. The link is in the description. Uh, but other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.